Hello YouTubers, I'm Parwith and this is our 10th video in PyQt5 GUI application development. In the previous video, we have learned how you can create a radio button in PyQt5 and how you can use a toggle signal uh, in radio button. So this is from the previous video, you can see uh, we have selected cricket, you have selected tennis and you have selected football. So in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how you can create checkbox in PyQt5. Uh, basically in this video, I will uh, copy some codes from my previous video that's radio button. So if you haven't watched the previous video, I highly recommend you to watch the previous video and it will be easier for you to learn. Even though I, I'm going to describe everything in, che uh, in this uh, in checkbox, but uh, this will be good if you watch the previous video. So uh, now I have created a new uh, checkbox.py. Uh, first, let me import, uh, copy these imports because I will need all of them for my uh, checkbox. So just you need to change the uh, Q radio button to Q checkbox because this time we don't need to Q radio button and we need to Q our checkbox okay now after this let me copy the class window and uh, like this uh, I'm going to just copy the basic codes of the window so it will be so simple so this is my class window and it inherits from Q dialog I have the constructor and I have the some basic variable for my window like title, left, top, width, height and also I can name. After this uh, I'm going to copy this uh, init uh, method uh, just I'm going to copy these and uh, let me just paste it in here like this and now uh, you can see that in here uh, I have set the window title to title I have set the window icon and also I have set the geometry now let me just show this uh, self uh, show and also let me just copy the loop and uh, application creation so like this because if I write it will be a repeated code so there are some people that they don't like repeated codes every time so by this reason I have copied now this is my simple code just this is for window so now I'm going to just change this to checkbox checkbox and in your class window you need to call your init win window method so self dot init window now I'm going to run my application hopefully I get a window so yeah you can see now I have a window after this uh, let me uh, come here in this section okay now in here uh, uh, first let me create a method I'm going to call it diff uh, whatever you want but I'm going to call it diff uh, create checkbox okay now this is my checkbox and uh, okay now in create checkbox method uh, I'm going to create a group box uh, let me just uh, create self uh, dot group box and Q group and Q group box okay now write uh, the text so what is uh, what is your favorite your favorite programming language okay 
Now this is the text for my group box. After this, let me uh, set the font for for my group box. So group box dot set font and uh, cute GUI cute GUI dot Q font and uh, I want to have some serif font and the size of text should be uh, 13. After creating the group box I'm going to create my layout so I need a box layout so I call it hbox layout and q hbox layout okay now we are going to create our checkbox uh, we need three checkboxes so uh, first let me create my first checkbox so cell.check1 uh, q checkbox and the text I'm going to give it python and the self dot check one and let me set the icon for this so set icon uh, set icon and for the icon uh, cute GUI dot Q icon and my icon name is uh, for the Python icon dot PNG so I have already copied uh, the icons in my uh, folder uh, you can see that if I show you my project folder and uh, let me bring it in here so you can see I have uh, uh, C sharp .png, cpp .png. also I have uh, I think uh, python icon .png. okay now uh, after this uh, let me just uh, show you and this in here so okay uh, this icon is a small also you need to uh, set uh, the icon size to your checkbox so self dot check one dot set icon size and uh, for this you can give cute core dot q size uh, cute core dot Q size and I want to give it 40 by 40. Uh, let me just show you uh, this that uh, how it's looking. Uh, first, let me add hbox layout dot add widget and I want the self uh, dot check one and uh, let me in here first call my checkbox so self dot checkbox method and in here I'm going to create a vbox layout vbox dot q vbox layout okay vbox layout and uh, now vbox dot add widget I'm going to add my group box like this uh, and at the end, I need to solve dot set layout to my VBox layout. Also, in here, uh, you need to uh, set your uh, group box. So let me solve dot group box dot uh, set layout, and I want my H box now so let me run it hopefully uh, I get a checkbox in here and if there was an error I will check that okay uh, there is no error so I have a checkbox in here you can check it uh, with a nice icon and also uh, a group box after this uh, let me uh, because I need three uh, check boxes so I'm going to uh, also let me just check it I think uh, um, yeah it's good also you can set the font of your uh, check box uh, uh, text if you want you can do it uh, self dot check one dot set font 
and uh, for the font you can give cute GUI dot Q font and I want the font this is the font type and also the font size okay now uh, this was my first checkbox let me copy this and uh, I want two more of these kind checkboxes so this is the second one let me just change this so I'm going to change this and let me just change the uh, text to Java and also let me change this to java.png and uh, I want to change this to cell.check2 now let me run this and hopefully I get another uh, checkbox yeah I have another that's Java after this let me uh, copy this and paste it once more for the third one so let me paste it in here and this is uh, check3 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 and uh, this is for C++ C++ and uh, for the icon uh, my icon name is cpp.png also change this okay now let me run this and I will you will see that I have another checkbox okay now you can see I have three checkboxes uh, if you remember the radio button uh, video I have created uh, uh, I have created actions for this so for this I also want when I click on Python there should be uh, a message that you selected Python if I click on Java there will be a text that you have selected Java so for this first let me create a label in here uh, so in this section let me uh, in here uh, let me solve dot label uh, q label and let me just give a hello text because I want to see that uh, uh, I want to check it so vbox dot add a widget and I want to add my label in here so let me run it and uh, I wish I can see a label yeah I should see a label yeah you can see now I have a hello let me just change the text of my label self dot label dot set font and cute GUI dot Q font and the font type is answer rev and the font size is 15 and now if I run it you can see now the text is bigger but uh, let me just remove this because right now I don't need to this because it will be automatically changed after this we are going to create another method in here so in this section let me create another method and I call it diff on check box toggled and first let me check if self dot check one is checked so there is a method in checkbox that's called checked if our uh, first uh, checkbox is checked we are going to change our label text to set text you have selected and let me plus we want to get the check one text so you can get the check one text like this after this let me create another if self dot check two dot is checked if this is the case self dot label dot set text and you have uh, selected 
now I'm going to get the check to text so check to dot text okay after this let me create another if condition so if uh, cell dot check three dot is checked if this is the condition uh, I'm going to cell dot label dot set text you have uh, selected plus cell dot check tree dot text okay now we have created this after this we are going to connect our this on checkbox toggle method to our uh, toggle signal of checkbox so for the first checkbox let me in here uh, cell dot check one dot toggled uh, dot connect and I want to self uh, what was uh, my method name on checkbox on checkbox toggled okay this is the first one and let me just once check that it's working or not after that I'm going to copy this for my okay let me check the first one yeah you have selected Python let me copy add this and paste this for my second checkbox just change this to check two and for the third one okay now I'm going to run it I'm waiting for this okay now if I choose Python you have selected Python if I choose Java you have selected Java and if I choose C++ you have selected C++ like this you can create checkbox with the signals in PyQt5 uh, if you need the source code I will add the source code to the video description if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos don't forget subscription of my channel